and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Tonight I'm going to do a Christmas inspired DIY using mostly Dollar Tree items and I think you guys will like this. Um, first of all, how are you guys doing tonight? As for me, I'm really excited to officially jump off into the holiday season. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving and I'm really looking forward to Christmas and New Year's. So, um, so tonight will be the first of my Christmas DIY series. So here's what we'll need for this DIY. If you watch my last DIY, we'll be doing something similar to that with this particular project. We'll need two 8x10 frames. We're going to be using this 4x6 frame. We'll be using one of the Dollar Tree reindeer heads. And this is what it'll look like once we're done decorating it. Just pull this off, spray paint the silver, Put a little bit of Mod Podge and sprinkle it with glitter. And then wrap some bling around it and some rhinestones. And put some rhinestones on the eyes. And I'll be using the Michael rhinestones for that. So that's just to give you an idea on how I decorated it. We'll be using this white script sheet on plastic that I picked up from Michael's. And we'll also be using this mirror sheet that I picked up from Michael's. We'll be using more of our acrylic beads. We'll need some tape and our hot glue gun along with some bling later on because I will decorate it with bling also but let's just get this out the way first okay so the next thing that I want to do is take my frame I've already taken it apart I'm just going to push these tabs back down in place for now and what I want to do is temporarily tape this down to the glass Alright, so now I'll stand this up and try and put this directly in the middle. Okay, so once you're satisfied with placement of your center frame, then go ahead and start adding your beads. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by putting one right in the center. I'm going to put one between this bead and the end of the frame. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. Put one in the center of those two. And now between this one and the end of the frame. Now I'll repeat the same thing on this side. row and keep going down.
Okay guys, I'm back and my file corrupted and thank God I caught it when it did. So I need to back up and show you exactly what I did. I went ahead and put a couple of these screws in. And you can pick these up at Home Depot or I think even Family Dollar, any hardware store. I put them here because I'm going to hang this up on the wall later. So what I did was I went ahead and put in the first pane of glass, cleaned it on the inside. And then I added this one, cleaned it on the inside as well. So now my gems are between both glasses. So um, after that, I went ahead and cleaned the back part of the glass also. Another thing that I did was went ahead and cut the mirror sheet of paper to go on the back. So um, what I'm going to do now is just put this right on top. And now I'll add the back part of the frame. So now I'm going to take my glue gun and just glue this in place. Let this set up and then I'll continue to go around the frame with the hot glue. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and put my frame in place. And as you seen earlier, I have a frame that I've taken apart already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the tape off, clean off these glue webs. I'm gonna open this back up. So the next thing I wanna do is take my other sheet of mirror paper, because I have two sheets, and I'm gonna trace it out with this frame that came inside the frame. And I'm leaving it inside the plastic because I don't want to put fingerprints on it. Okay, so I have that. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the script paper that I showed you earlier. So now what I want to do is just put everything back into the frame. Oh, and by the way, this frame comes with two sheets of glass. So it's perfect to do this particular project in a smaller frame without having to buy a second frame. Now this glass has a little bit of um, residue on it or whatever, so that'll go in the back if I need it. So I'm just going to clean this up again. Okay, so now what I'll do is go ahead and pop this back in. We're going to add our script sheet. And make sure you put your script in the right direction. So now I'll take our mirror sheet and put it behind our script sheet. So now what I'll do is just go ahead and pop this back part of the frame in to see if I really need that glass. And I think I don't, so let's just push these tabs down. Yeah, that locks it in place pretty good. 
So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add some glue just to make sure it's sealed. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and just pop this in place to see where we need to glue it. Alright, so I think I want to go ahead and add some E6000 to this to make sure that it stays bonded. And I'm going to add some hot glue just to keep it in place while it sets up. Okay guys, so now that my glass is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of E6000 to the back of my reindeer along with some hot glue. Just putting it right in the center. Now I'll go around the outside with some hot glue. and put this in place. Apply a small amount of pressure until the hot glue sets up. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that looks so far. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is let this set up overnight. Then I'll come back and add some bling to it. And then I'll show you how I plan to hang it. And uh, we'll be done. So hold on tight. Hi, everyone. I'm back. And this is the very next morning. I decided to go ahead and add some bling on the frame and around this frame as well, just to get a jump start on everything. Okay, so what I did was I took three rows of this Dollar Tree bling. Let me get this open. And put one strip all the way across the top. So now I'll add a strip across here, and then I'll put the strip across there. But you can go in whatever order you want to. Okay, so with that done, I'll go ahead and add a strip here. And since this is not long enough, I'm going to have to cut some additional um, pieces off to make up for this empty space. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and add some of my flower bling. So I've added one, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth piece here. I'm going to add this one a little bit higher just to cover that little spot. So now I'll just go ahead and cut some additional flowers off the flower bling. And when you cut them, you'll see that there's a little bit of thread that's left behind. So I'll use my lighter to burn it off. Okay, so what I'll do is just go ahead and add one to each corner. Since this one is a little higher, I'll put that one there. I'm going to add 
one in the center. And I'm just eyeballing it. Put one in the center up top. And one in the corner up top. So now I add one in the center here. And if you decide to do this, guys, you can use whatever pattern you like. You do not have to follow my pattern. Then I put one in the center of those two. Same thing here. Now I add one here, 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 and here. Okay, so I have some glue webs now. I'll come back and clean those up later. So let's just get on with this part. So now I want to add bling across here and on the side. And I previously burned some of the threads off of this, so what I want to do is measure here. See those little strings? Burn those off. Get an idea about where I want to place them. And glue down the first one. So this is where we are so far. So all I want to do now is go in and clean up the glue strings and decide if I want to bling the sides out. I'm not sure yet. If I do, then I'll come back later and show you. We'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And now it's time to move on to the next step. And um, I'm going to use this ribbon from Dollar Tree to hang my picture. I might actually change this ribbon out later because Dollar Tree has more decorative ribbon available right now so we'll see but I went ahead and pre-cut it and I've already threaded it through one of the loops and so what I want to do is go ahead and thread it through the second one so now let's just lay it back down do is make sure that the front of the ribbon is on this side as well all right so the next thing I want to do is just make a bow Pretty happy with this bow okay so then you just want to lift it and cut your ribbon so that it's still above the frame is it this way And maybe crimple it up some if you want to, or you can just make it shorter. It's up to you. All right.
just think I want to cut this a little shorter. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, this is what we will hang our frame from right here. So what I'm going to do is decide if I want to add more bling around the outside. And if so, then I'll come back and show you guys that. While making this one, um, I have another one planned also. And I'll be using a silver ring there. So look for that one immediately after this one. This is it, guys, so far. And I'm really happy with it. I really, really like this. It's perfect for this time of year. And um, I think you could probably use it year-round. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. I would truly love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And it's really important, guys, to make sure that you have your notification bell on so you won't miss any of my next DIYs. Oh, and also a reminder, I will start putting gift card codes in my videos. So um, if you see one, grab it and go shopping immediately. If it's for Amazon, I'll make a note of it. Or if it's from Dollar Tree, um, I'll make a note of that as well. So all you do is once you check out, you put the gift card code in there. And I'll let you know what the amount is also. So make sure you're one of the first ones to catch this video. And make sure you have your notification bell on so you don't miss out. So yeah, guys, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.